What's going on everybody and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we're going to open up this Super Mario's Mystery Box. This is a little bit different than most of my unboxings because this is not a monthly service. I actually just saw this in Target. Uh, this box was made by Culturefly. You'll find a bunch of their stuff in Targets and Walmarts. Uh, so like I said, disclaimer, this is not something that you can pick up on, you know, any kind of subscription service. But if you go in Target, you might be able to find these. Uh, so this box was like $30, if I remember correctly. And as a disclaimer, this had like a, a thing on it that kind of told you what would be in it. It didn't necess necessarily show it, but it told you the different items that were in the box. I kind of didn't look at that. I had my wife kind of hide it from me. And then she took the plastic and that little slip cover off of it. So this could be a surprise for all of us watching this unboxing. Now this says it's a Super Mario box, but obviously Bowser is pretty prominent on this. So I'm guessing there's probably a lot of Bowser related stuff in this. Uh, like I said, this box was $30. So let's go ahead and let's open this up and let's see what we've got. And like I said before, if you're interested in this, I don't know if they still have it, but you could check your local Targets or Walmarts. That's where I usually see stuff like this. And 30, uh, like I said, 30 bucks. All right, so first up out of this mystery box, we have a plush. And it is a cool one. So we have a Thwomp mini plush, which is super cool. You would see these guys in some of the, uh, you know, castles and different things like that. So that is awesome. Uh, definitely a cool little plush. Uh, nothing too fancy. Pretty small. But small plushes are great because it's not hard to find a place to put them. So this is a great way to start this box. I absolutely love little plushies like that. I used to not collect plushies, but Mystery Box kind of got me into collecting them. Alright. So what is next? I guess we'll go ahead and pull this out since it's pretty prominent right here. Uh, we actually have a vinyl figure, which is great because I collect vinyl figures. Not just a vinyl figure, this is an exclusive vinyl figure of Bowser himself. So I guess you could only get him in this box. So that is awesome. I don't know, I'm, I've usually been a pretty big fan of these Culture Fly boxes. I feel like they have a lot of neat stuff in them that's... Uh, and you know you know which box to pick because they're based off certain franchises uh, and there's usually great value in them uh, so this vinyl figure is great it will make a really good addition to my game room so that is awesome two great things to start out this box all right so let's go ahead and let's see what's next i reckon we'll go ahead and pull this out we have some socks which is great because who doesn't like socks? And these look like they're Bowser related crew socks. Uh, now, I don't wear a ton of these type of socks out, but I do like wearing these socks around the house, so they will definitely come in useful. Uh, if I open these, I will show you guys a picture of them outside the packaging um, if I open them before I post this video. But you can basically tell what the design is. It's what's on the outside of the box pretty much. But socks, you can't never have too many socks. So that's a positive. Um, let's go ahead and pull this guy out because I know what it is. Just by filling it, we have a keychain. So that is awesome. I really don't have a whole lot of uses for keychains in general. So I don't keep a whole bunch of them. But this guy I will keep just because it's Nintendo related. And I'm sure you guys know by watching my videos, I collect a lot of Nintendo stuff. So definitely a cool little uh, keychain to keep in the collection. All right, so what is next? We have... Okay, I don't know what this is. We have an umbrella. So I guess you can't never have too many umbrellas super mario branded that's another great thing about uh thing about this stuff is a lot of them have tags on them so if you don't want to keep this stuff you could always give it away to somebody or resell it i guess i'm not going to open up this umbrella in the video but it's basically the, the uh, design from the outer box um i might take a picture of it i don't know to be honest with you i'll probably just give this to my wife she'd probably use it more than i would Alright, so moving right along, we have 
something that feels like a bag in here. And we do, we have a actual like duffel bag. Not a full size duffel bag, it does have a tag on it. And once again, uh, carrying along with the theme, this has artwork on it based off the outside of the box. Uh, it's got two straps that will connect together. So it's basically just like a miniature version of a uh, duffel bag. I'm sure that we can find some use for this when we're going on a vacation or something like that. Uh, definitely a cool item to have in a box like this. We don't really get a lot of stuff like this in typical monthly mystery boxes, so it's kind of cool to see. I think we're down to the final item in the box. So let's go ahead and let's pull this out. Show you guys. This looks like a canvas art print. Oh, this is so cool. Um, it's basically Bowser's Kids, um, which is in a uh, canvas art print form. They call it wall art, but I can tell it's canvas. It's got something there where you can hang it on the wall. So that is awesome. I love the artwork on this. I was kind of worried it was going to be the same, you know, design of the box like some of the other stuff. But at least they uh, made this a little bit unique, so that's great. Once again, not huge, but it will um, fit in nicely somewhere. Sometimes small things aren't a bad thing because it's easier to find a place to put them. Let's check the box and make sure that is it in this uh, Super Mario mystery box. Well, it looks like there's something in here from Culture Fly. It's like a 30% off thing on their website. But other than that, nothing else in the box. That is it for our uh, Super Mario Culture Fly mystery box. So now that we've pulled everything out of the box, let's go ahead and give this stuff some value. Let's see what kind of value we got and compare that to what we paid out. That's one of the ways I always grade uh, typical mystery boxes, but let's go ahead and let's do it this one as well. The canvas art, let's go ahead and give this $10. It could be a little bit more, a little bit less. So 10. We'll give this 15, so that's 25. Give this five, so that's 30. Let's go ahead and give this eight, so that's 38. Give the socks a good $7, so that takes us to 45. Plush gets eight, so 45 and five is 50, so we're at like $53. And the vinyl figure, let's go ahead and give it 10. Uh, so let's just conservatively say that we got $60 in value from this box. You could say we got between $60 and $70 in value. Um, if we pay $30 for the box, that's insane value. I mean, that's way more than a typical monthly mystery box would get. So I would say this definitely check that box. And the other way I rate boxes like this is do I like the stuff they sent us? Um, I knew I would like this box because it's Super Mario themed or Bowser or whatever. Uh, so this box easily gets an A-plus grade from me, and like I said, it's well worth $30, especially if you collect Nintendo-related stuff. But guys, let me know what you thought about this box down in the comments. Did you think this stuff was worth about $30? What was your favorite thing in this box? Are you going to go try to find this in your local targets? I would love to have a little conversation with you guys about this Mario Culture Fly mystery box. But for now, that's probably going to do it. But for someone to say thank you guys. I appreciate you. If you know anybody who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. I'm always looking to grow the channel a little bit. But for now, probably going to go open up some more boxes, maybe play some video games, try to enjoy the rest of my evening. Hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.